Hey everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time to talk about the future of Shiba Inu, and it's great to see today that we are back up about 5.5% right now, trading at the 7624 level. Love seeing the entire market, the entire crypto space coming back today. Hopefully everybody out there is having a fantastic day. Uh, I know tomorrow's Friday, so that's uh, always a good uh, sign that the weekend is near. For the entire crypto market, this is a good sign too. Seeing the number two right there, we are back to a $2 trillion market cap, up 3.31% right now. And look at Bitcoin, pushing up close to 4,500. Ethereum has been on a nice rise today. We'll take a brief look at that when we head over to TradingView. And we can take a look. A lot of the top assets up slightly today. Terra Luna still on a tear, up 12%. Avalanche, let's call it 7.5%. Algorand, love that. Look at Algo, back up over $2. Loving it. Uh, big holder of Algorand now. This is one I've really kind of focused in on uh, lately here. So SHIB, let's take a look at this. Right now, we are sitting at that 7.6 level. I want to take a look at the technicals here. So check this out. So here we go, strong buy here in the one day. Love seeing that. Four hour, back into the buy. Two hour, one hour, 30 minutes, 15, strong buy, five, one. So the market as a whole is looking really good. Shiba Inu right now, good buying opportunity. Chances are we are going to get back up to this level, in my opinion. I think this weekend we're gonna see a pop to at least this level. I know a lot of people out there, long-term holders, including myself, but if you are looking to swing trade, I would I feel really confident that we're going to get back up to this 848, 849, 85 level where we were here when we reached the top before we came back down. I think we should be able to run up to the next level of resistance. Okay. Honestly, I think we should be able to get up to this nine level. Let's another let's draw another line here. We'll keep this here throughout the weekend and see what happens. I know that line's not perfect, but oh. Let's see here. Ding. There we go. There we go. Now, those are the two levels I'm starting to look at right here. Let's see how high we can go here throughout the weekend. Things are just looking really bullish, though, right now for SHIB. I'm loving this nice little steady growth throughout the day today and yesterday. I had a nice little big pop earlier. Uh, we were down at the 7.2 level, popped all the way up to the 7.7. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, we were as high as 7.75 today. That was our high. And then we've just kind of slowly retraced and then we're building back up. So uh, it's really nice to see. Now, I want to get into the future, the Shiba Inu ecosystem update. Remember this, this was sent out in August by Shaitoshi. And I know he's been talking about some burns as it relates to the NFT marketplace, the art incubator. Still really looking forward to seeing the future of that. It's so early, both for NFTs and for this asset. That is a space where I think they can dominate in. Now, they already have about 655,000 holders, and we're kind of pulling back a little bit with the market conditions. I would like to see us get to 700,000 in the next couple weeks. Hopefully, we can get a nice little resurgence. Maybe that Coinbase effect will kick in uh, because we were unable to really reap the benefits of Coinbase because the entire market pulled us back. Uh, I did mention, on average, assets usually move up 91%. It didn't happen here, but... That doesn't mean I'm selling. It doesn't mean I'm freaking out. I'm holding for the long term. I still think a nice pop from Coinbase can happen. And here's the thing. It's going to be that sustained growth over time. That's why I'm paying close attention to number of holders. Speaking of which, let's go take a look at that, and then we'll bounce back to the uh, recent update that we saw in August. Let's see if we're back up in holders. I'd be curious to see. I think we probably are up a little bit, uh, 666,414. We're actually down a bit, but uh, that's okay. Paper handers, whatever. Uh, that's not me. That's probably not you out there. Um, and if you want to know what I'm buying, what I'm selling, Patreon link is down below in the description. Uh, I'm not going to pull it up here in this video, but that is down there. Go check it out. Uh, we've got an awesome community brewing, 165 members strong now. But I want to focus on a couple things here. Here's the burn. Discussed a burn with Ryoshi many times in the past, made it clear that it's not ideal unless under the right circumstances. I didn't understand this at first, but now after seeing other tokens with built-in burns, I see his point. Let's discuss the popular burn effect known as Reflect. Reflect is a genius bit of code that burns a percentage of any selling transaction and then redistributes a percentage to the holder's pro rata. This is exactly what Saitama is doing. As the token has more volume, more tokens are burnt to a burn address, 
and you'll watch your holdings increase automatically, right? If you're holding it, you automatically get tokens in return. How genius is it to watch my wallet increasingly uh, increase infinitely? In fact, this is a great way to constantly burn tokens, but it should be noted that the pro rata statement makes this mechanism a benefit for whales as their wallet will get the lion's share of each reflection. Therefore, for SHIB, this is not an ideal burn mechanism because it's only a burn. It's not only a burn, it's only a burn. It's a redistributed uh, redistribution tactic. Oh, it's not only a burn. Sorry about that. It's been a long day. <laughs> uh, so, so he talks a little bit more about the burn. So the final strategy, small purchases over time that are burnt. To initiate this, we have encouraged many tokens and projects to use ShibaSwap and burn SHIB. To do our part, we implemented a 25K SHIB burn and 25K leash burn on every WOOF listing. Now, the problem is, what if we don't get WOOF listings? That's really what it comes back to. Now, I think they're trying to be proactive here. I really like where they're heading, but I think further burns will be necessary in the future. But I'm more concerned about the future outlook of Shiba Inu as it relates to numbers of holders, because that is something we can control. If we can get more people in our community on board and long-term holders, that will infinitely grow this token price, and we have all the control over that, okay? So tell your friends, tell your cousins, tell your parents, tell your brothers, tell your sisters, hop on the Shiba Inu bandwagon train. It's a good train to hop on. We're going places, all right? Hopefully you got some value out of this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next one.